everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is about all my favorites of the year now we've got a couple of hair care bits one skincare item a couple of like tools and the rest is makeup if you can hear a meowing playing well noises it's my cat he's on a rampage today he's already broken my tv so um yeah he always climbs onto the tv and then it just i think i was in another room and I, all I heard was a bang and a meow, and then I came in, the TV was on the floor, and it's now cracked. Not cracked, yeah, cracked, like, this is the screen is, like, broken, and I can't, I, I can't tell if it's off or on or what. Also, you just have to excuse the hair, I, I curled my hair a few days ago, like, waved it, and it's gone weird because I've been at work. And I've got to film this video and get it edited and uploaded for tonight, so. <laughs> Smash him. Um, also, if you can see a blue, it's my t-shirt underneath. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get talking about makeup and my favourites of the year. Um, we've got a lot of makeup to get through. I will try and do quick fire speed runs. Is that going to work? No. I film 30, over 30 minutes worth of video every time. So, okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually something skincare related. I've tried a lot of skincare this year. I try a lot of skincare in general. And this seems to be a favourite. <laughs> It's the Laneige, Le 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 I don't know how do you pronounce that, um, lip sleeping mask. Mine's in the shade, the shade, the, the scent grapefruit. And you can see I have used a big chunk of it already. I mean, I've had this for like nearly a year, I think, maybe, maybe like less than a year. I can't remember when I bought this, but I, I mean, yeah, it's really good. It's, it's I, I, I class it as a lip balm more, more than a lip mask. I mean, I put it on as to hydrate my lips it does the job i guess but i love that it's a really big tub i know it's like 19 pounds i think on cult beauty but you know and i have got another one now because i had the cult beauty advent calendar um and now i have a chocolate one so now this one can live on my desk with my like on my desk with my beauty stuff and i can keep it in here <laughs> the next two things are hair care I have got a hair mask and a scalp product. Now, I haven't really used this scalp product in a while because I just, I I feel like my scalp doesn't quite need this right now. But this is from the brand Briogeo. And actually, I really love Briogeo's products. I have, I actually have another product that I think should make it this to this list. But I haven't tried it in a long time because I've I used it up ages ago. I've been on other things, but this is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I have gone through a whole tub of this. This is my second tub. Um, this is what it looks like. It smells like mint. And it's like a really nice mint. It's not like a harsh mint, but you rub this on your scalp. Um, yeah, I normally double shampoo. Oh my God, can I just shut up? <laughs> my cat, Casper. Um, if you knew him. Do you mind? I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> um, what was I saying? What I was saying <laughs> before Casper really interrupted me was I double shampoo anyway, so sometimes I don't need this as much, but if I feel like, especially in summertime, when my scalp gets really sweaty and like the sweat builds up on my scalp or I feel like I've got a lot of like build up on my scalp, I do tend to use this and it does really help. Um, but yeah, I haven't used this in ages just because, I don't know, I just haven't. But I really love it and I have gone through a whole tub of this and I think it was in my favourites last year. Don't quote me on that. The next hair care product is from Bleach London. I've gone through a tube of this. My only complaint with the tube and why I bought the big tub is because is that it's like it hurts your hands trying to get it out and like it can where it's like metal it sort of like breaks in and hurts but I bought the big tub. This is the Bleach London reincarnation mask and I've only actually popped this open again recently like well, not again recently but I have been saving this because I bought so many hair masks and I love so many. Like, I love the Garnier Hair Foods ones, especially the papaya one. Chef's kiss. Um, but I've been using other hair masks, so I only just opened this one of this of this um, hair mask. But I really love 
the bleach london hair mask it's really nice it's really conditioning my hair feels so soft and you guys know i dye my hair a lot i mean i've done quite a few hair dye videos this year i don't even want to count how many i've done and i've gone i've done so much to my hair especially recently going from black to brown uh, i have got a nearly i think it's over a two hour video on that well it's split into two but it's like over two hours worth of me dyeing my hair so if you want to see that um i have that and also this hair color the the, the video of me using this hair color um will be in january i think it's my second video january or something um pre-filmed that like a month ago <laughs> But yeah, I absolutely love this hair mask. Another mask I love, and actually, my boyfriend got me um, it in a set for Christmas because I actually did ask for it. It's the Briogeo um, Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. It's this one. I have used like a mini size of this before, um, and I absolutely loved it. And I am very excited to start using that. I mean, I've got to go through that whole tub first. And I've got loads of other little hair masks to use. And I do love the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Mask as well. That is a really lovely mask. Again, just haven't bought it in a while. But I think that one's... I think I think that one's better from what I remember. But I don't remember. It's been a while. But yeah. <laughs> I have two um, tall favourites. I think this one was in my favourites last year. And it remains a favourite. It's... I've still used this. I've used this for yet another year. This is the Hourglass like Duo Powder Brush. It's like a big fluffy brush on one side and a small one on the other. I see a lot of people use this as like a bronzer, blush, highlight, powder brush all in one thing. I use it for just powder really. The smaller side I use on my eyelids and around my eyes uh, and like around my nose and stuff to make sure I get the product in there, you know. And the big side I just use for all over my face. I do also use the little one um, when using like an Hourglass like powder i'll show you soon because i've got that product actually here <laughs> but and then another product i absolutely really I, I absolutely love is this um sponge by coco cosmetics by chloe mine looks very disgusting i need to wash this but i have i bought them in a pack of four like three weeks ago i think now and i absolutely love it like look this is when it's infl inflated, oh my god. When it's wet, I have them when they're dry. Even when they're dry, they're really soft, but that's what a new one looks like. Mine's very discoloured right now because I need to wash it, but super soft. Absolutely love it. I love this side, like the rounded side um, for my like base makeup. And then the flat side for like blending over like um, blush and stuff. Because I, I use a brush for my cream blush and my cream bronzer, but... Um, I go over that that I go over it my cream products with the other side to help blend in. And now we move on to makeup. Now I think we have quite a few base products. To be fair, there's quite a lot of products here. I already filmed this video once and there wasn't nearly as many products, and I think it's because I forget that I love products, like some of the products. Um so let's just start with primers. So one of my favourite, favourite, favourite primers. Is this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It's one of the best primers I have ever used. Um, and if you got, and the reason I haven't used, like, I haven't, I don't know how long I've had this for. And I know it's not all used up. Um, but if you guys know, I do shut my stashes. I cycle through everything every month, practically. I mean, apart from, like, things I'm trying to use up. And this is one of the ones I bring in a lot. Um, but I also bring in a lot of other primers. So this one gets sat on the back burner for a bit. But I absolutely love this. I need to pull this out again and like use it up. I think I should do a project pan at some point and like actually use products up. But a really good dupe for that actually is this e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Primer. Um, I think they've discontinued this particular one. Um, and I think the Hydro Grip. Is it Hydro Grip? No, it's something else. It's like Grip something. It's Halo Grip. Halo primer halo something i'll fuck those i don't even know but they've got another one of this i'll chuck a picture up on screen here of it but yeah i will use this one up and then i'll probably use get the other one but this is a really good primer i actually really love it it does have a, a pump which is weird because it's a tube and i'll probably have to cut the tube open or take the top off at some point but really good they make your makeup last so long they're grippy primers they basically just make your face your makeup grip to your face basically <laughs> another primer i really love and i use this more in the summer or when my face like my base needs to last especially my t-zone i've got like combination skin 
Um, at this time of the year, it's a little bit more like on the drier side. I got my dry patches, I got my oily T-zone, but like my oiliness isn't as oily, if that makes sense. But this is the Revolution Liquid Powder Pore Blur and Makeup Serum. This is really good. I think this is like a tenner. Am I actually, I'm actually up to here on it. That's how much I've used this. And I mean, again, I cycle through products and I don't use this all the time. I only use it when it's really hot weather. I really need my makeup to like be matte. Um, or if it's underneath a hydrating foundation, maybe. But I really love this. It makes your makeup actually really matte. And it's really serumy. I don't know if you can see from um, this how liquidy it is. Very liquidy. Very, very um, thin. It's really good. I don't know about the pore blurring aspect, but the liquid powder, very good. I have five foundations this no no oh no i've got one more base product i was like i was confusing myself with how many foundations i had there i was like bloody hell i've got one more base product and this is just a in general these kind of products in the last few months i've been going for <clears throat> bloody hell i cough my lungs up sometimes um in the last few months i've been going for a bit of a glowy primer base i guess i have like a normal primer and then i'll put like one of these on this one in particular is like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've got mine in the shade 1 Fair. Um, I'm trying to use this up, to be fair, because honestly, I've had this for years now, I think. And I just haven't used it up yet. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't, I mean, I need to try out some more um, ones of this, but I've got like the Collection one. I think I've got a Primark one. I need to try the Elf one when it comes back in stock. Um, but for now, I'm going to try my best to use this up as much as I can. Um, it is really nice. I just need to use it up. So. And then, yes, I think we've got four foundations. So we've got two drugstore and two high-end. Both drugstore ones are from L'Oreal. They're both different, though. I love, um, don't get me wrong, I love full coverage. I love a lot of coverage. I love long wear. I wouldn't say like matte foundations as much anymore because none of these are matte. They're like a more satin finish or a more like skin-like finish. I love a skin-like finish foundation with a lot of coverage, basically. However, this one, this foundation from L'Oreal, I think this is my second bottle now. Um, I used to use this all the time. Even when I shot my stashes, this used to be in every single month. <clears throat> why is my voice going all weird i think i haven't really spoken today that's probably why um but i used to love this i i'm not used to love it i still love this i just try and cycle through everything um but this is the l'oreal true match nude plumping tinted serum it's got one percent hyaluronic acid in it and mine's in the shade 0 0.5 to 2 very light it's a dropper which is annoying but this is so nice it's like a lighter coverage um looks like skin literally you can use a brush and it blends in seamlessly i think i tried this out in a video i think it was like a testing a full face of like new makeup or something if i can find that video i will link it down below for you but i don't remember what video it was oh my god casper's meowing again why are you meowing now you have food he does like that meow when he wants food and i'm like you've got food it's literally there over there like but yeah, I absolutely love this foundation. It's light. It's on the lighter coverage side. I mean, it's a tinted serum, but I really love this. I don't think this has SPF in it. I don't know why I thought it did. That'd be really good if it did, but the next one does. <laughs> so this is, again, by L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation. This has got a medium coverage, I'd say. They used to have um, a foundation before. And I swear it was like full coverage, but they've changed the formula. I think they changed it a couple of years ago. This is probably my third bottle of this, I think. I actually need to use this up. Again, need to use foundations up. I don't wear makeup that much anymore because I don't know why. I just don't. I mean, I know I'm wearing it now. I wear it for videos. I do my makeup in videos, but I don't wear it really much anymore. I don't know why. I really don't. I don't know why all right but yeah i absolutely love this this has spf 25 in it still wear your spf under your foundation do not reply 
on an SPF at a foundation, please. <laughs> Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, but yeah, I love that this has a pump and it's really nice. It sits on your skin really lovely. Just looks beautiful. I've got mine in the shade 15 Porcelain if you're curious, but yeah, I really love this foundation. I need to crack this out more. I think it was in my sh I shot my stash a few months ago. And I gravitated towards every other foundation apart from this. And I don't know why. I love it. And then we've got another medium coverage short foundation. <clears throat> Again, I have loved this for years. And you see, I don't really try a lot of new products out. To be fair, a lot of the other products I have here are newer. But some of them are just old classics I absolutely love. But this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation of the 24 Hour Wear. I love this so much. I bought a new one of these at the beginning of the year, which is this one, uh, or like quite early on in the year. And I only opened it a few months ago, I think, or like four months ago. But this is one of my absolutely, absolutely, absolute favourite foundations. I love it so much. It's medium coverage, buildable. Actually, both the other two are buildable as well, by the way. This just lasts so long. And when it, when my skin gets oily, because of course it will, it doesn't break the foundation down, which like the other two, it doesn't either. I love it. it looks so good. Um, I've raved about that before. But we do have a new foundation on the block. <clears throat> my God, my voice. Like my every time I speak, I feel like there's like gunk in my throat. This is the Nars Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have mine in the shade Gobi. I thought this was gonna be too dark when I bought it online. This is really good. <laughs> It's really expensive, but it's really good. So this I tried out this year. I did a whole video. I think it was when I was in the process of moving. So I put this on and like I was moving and I was sweating. And even though I was sweaty, my foundation didn't break down. It didn't cake up. It didn't crack. It didn't look weird. It looked really nice. And this is a really good shade match. It's like practically my perfect shade. And this isn't even like the lighter shade. This is number three. <laughs> this is... L3 like it's I think it's like number four actually in the whole line um but I absolutely love this I need to try the newer one the light reflecting one but it's never in stock in my shade and I don't want to pay full price for it all right then we have five concealers <clears throat> I'm gonna get one out of the way that's um not new this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer this has got such good coverage it's such a big thing it's in the shade swan I have done a video on this so not a video it's been in my past it's been in a past favorites video but I still really love this we I mean, look how massive this is considering like comparing to even this one that I'm going to show in a minute like look love it still love it I then have uh three high-end concealers and one drugstore one this drugstore one is from Milani. It's their Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. <clears throat> Honestly. Uh, mine's in the shade 115 Light Nude. This is really good. This is really, really good. It's like medium coverage. But it's so good. Um, it just looks lovely. Alright, that's all I have to say about it. And it lasts a long time. Moving on. This one is from NARS. And why is it with NARS? I think I've only got two NARS products. But anyway... This is the in the shade this is the radiant longwear concealer in the shade light one chantilly. I use this under my eyes and that's it. It doesn't have enough coverage for spots, in my opinion. However, this is under the eyes. Lovely. And it looks really nice and doesn't doesn't move. It's good. <laughs> Another under the eye concealer. I've been using eye on concealer under my eyes a lot recently. I do not know why. I think I think I'm starting to get a slight I think my, I think my, I've got some discoloration under my eyes, and I think that's probably why. Um, but yeah, this is the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Concealer in the shade Royal Ice in 1.1 Neutral. This little bad boy, under the eyes, oh my god, does not crease, does not look weird, does not cake, doesn't, oh my god, I love it. It's so good. It's my favourite, like, under eye concealer that I have. Uh, it's actually got really good coverage as well, a little goes a long way. I haven't I, I think I have used this on spots as well and it does cover really well I love this I don't like the foundation that they have of this line it's not good this is good and actually we've got one more NARS product all right 
This is the last concealer, and <laughs> it's NARS. This is the NARS, uh, this is the pot concealer, this soft matte complete concealer in the shade one, light, light one Chantilly. Um, this is really good for covering your spots under your foundation. I put this on, I put primer on, and then I put this on, and then foundation, normal concealer, powder, yeah. I love it. The covering is amazing, and it makes spots, like, if you've got red patches under your, like, if you've got red patches, if you've got spots that are, like, massive and, like, are really red, this is really good, alright? This is amazing. I love this. Moving on. I'm going to do cream bronzer, I think, next. Um, I've actually got a few, I think. Have I got a few? I have got a few. We've got the Revolution uh, Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. Oh, Ultimate Cream Bronzer. And I just put my finger in it. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Um, this is what it looks like. It's such a good shade. Blends really well. It's like £6, I want to say. It's one of the best drugstore cream bronzers I have found. I absolutely love this. It's creamy, buildable, blendable. Gorgeousness. <laughs> I have nothing bad to say about it, all right? Apart from maybe the packaging, that you have to sort of like force it, well not force it open, but like, it's all just like one level. It's like no clip, but other than that, it's really good. And then we have, <clears throat> I keep coughing, honestly. I haven't got the Lurgies, I don't think. I don't feel one well. <laughs> Next, we have a product that I tried a few weeks ago, about a month probably. This is the Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting in the shade Milky Mocha. I got this from TikTok shop. I love it. It's creamy and blendable. I just, I know I haven't used that a, a lot. I really haven't done my makeup that much. This is really good. You get 40 grams of bloody product in it. And I got it on offer, I think. It was normally like £16, I think. I think I got it for a little bit cheaper. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. It's just annoying that trying to find like the right closure for it to like go back in but yeah it's pretty good we've got a high-end cream bronzer we have got charlotte tilbury beautiful skin sun kissed kissed glow booster this is amazing i have it in shade one fair look how big the pan is for a start and look how big the mirror is if i was to travel with this i think i could do i could actually do my whole makeup in just this product like it's huge um <laughs> I love this. It's creamy and blendable, buildable. It's like a really lovely colour as well. Both of all of these that I've these two are like well, this is probably my lightest one out of all of them. Um and then it'll be this and that'll be the revolution one. The revolution one will be a really good like summer bronzer. This is actually quite pale. Um once you pick it up on the brush and you blend it into your skin, it like sort of doesn't look as dark as this anyway. But this is beautiful, like the name suggests. It's lovely, it's Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of my favourite makeup brands. I know it's high end, but I just love her products. She does the she does products really well. And then I have one more cream bronzer that I forgot to mention. And I think it's mainly because I forget to use this product. I don't know why. But this is the Patrick Tar Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. And this is in the shade She's Statuesque. This is a contour and then a, a cream contour and then a bronzer powder. I do really like this. I haven't used it in a long time. But the cream like bronzer contour is actually like a little bit cool. So I mean you could lay this with another cream bronzer if you wanted to. But this is really good and would be really good for travelling because it has cream and powder. And it's really lovely for pale skin. Like look at that. I mean it, the bronzer looks really warm but I promise you it's not. I love this. I rate this really like I rate this really well. I just don't I just forget to use it. Maybe I need to pull this in it's because i have so many like cream bronzers that i've bought recently or like bought this year that i forget about that but i think we'll do the only i've got two um powder bronzers here one's high end and one's lower end i'm going to talk about the high end one first i have definitely had this for a couple of years probably at this point this is one of my favorite high-end bronzers it blends so lovely it smells amazing it's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and it's good for really pale people. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's like in that like middle, wow, my camera's bad, um, because we've got a new one. Um, this is really nice. Smells 
divine i have had this for years and it is one of my favorite bronzers to this day so and i know this video is already at 25 minutes long well i've been filming for 25 minutes and i've only gotten to bronzers so far so um i need to hurry my ass up all right but this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear matte bronzer this is incredible i'm telling you now uh, i got mine in the shade light oh my bloody god this is incredible it's so soft and honestly it's so like like blendable it's beautiful it's buildable i would just say don't go in with a heavy hand at first you have to get used to it uh because it's very very pigmented so just be careful it does have a mirror underneath i think it had a brush underneath it but i don't remember i love this l'oreal you've done really well this is my favorite drugstore bronzer and i'm not just saying of the year i think this is probably my favorite drugstore bronzer ever because it's really hard to find bronzers from the drugstore that are good for pale people and this is it got a really nice shade range actually as well so props to you and then we're going to do cream blush now one formula stood out to me this year so made by mitchell blushes and actually i have a blush bronzed here as well which is in the shade hollow there but i just put it with the blushes because they're all blushes yeah i have five shades here um, we have the original that I had, which was Peach Sugar, which I still really love. I need to pull it out a bit more, but I currently have uh, papaya pudding in my makeup bag. Um, and toasted, te toasted terracotta is like a kind of warm, kind of like an orangey toned blush. Um, and then the, uh, toast, uh, the, pa the papaya pudding is more of like a peachy shade. And then we have Posy Rosy, which is like a lovely pink. I haven't used this in a while. Not since I got it. I think I used it once and loved it. But I haven't used it since. So, And I also have the uh, Very Berry. It's one of my only berry shades. If you go really light with this, it looks really nice. But I love this formula. It's one of the best cream blush formulas. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love it. And yeah, it blends really nice. Just It's a bit pigmented. It's a lot pigmented, so just be careful. All right. Uh, and then we have a cream, another cream blush. Is this my only other one? I think so. It's a Patrick Tar duo again. This is, um, I've heard a lot of people rave about this recently. Well, I've heard a few people rave about this recently. And I need to pull this one out more. So this is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. And I've got the shade, do we know her? I mean, come on, come on. Like, it's so pretty. I, this, again, would be really good for travelling because you only need to take one product with you. But look at that. I mean, even, to, like, on their own, but together, like, it's creamy. The cream, the cream blush is creamy, pigmented, it's lovely. And then this powder is lovely as well. Like, they just look really nice together. I need to pull this out more. I always pull my Made by Mitchell blushes out. I need to pull this out. And then we have, oh, we've got two, oh, we've, got, we've actually, the last time I filmed this video, these two products didn't make the cut. I don't know why. Do you guys remember when I was obsessed with this product? This is Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is the shade, the Scorched Blushes. And mine's in the shade Melt. Come on, try not to blind you, come on. It's like luminous and like glowy. And it's so pretty. I don't hear anyone talk about this product. And I don't know why it's so pretty. I tried it on a whim. They do bronzers now as well. And I need to try the, bl the bronzers and the powders they do. Um, but this is so lovely. It's a baked formula. And it's just it's dreamy, alright? And then we have another blush. This is by Milani. Uh, this is the uh, Rose Powder Blush in the shade Coral Cove. Let me get it open. It's stunning. This has got a bit of a sheen to it as well, I think, if I remember. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But it's more on the matte side. But, like, it's got, like, that healthy sort of a sheen, you know? Like, that healthy sort of a glowy... I'm suck at describing shit, can you tell? This is just pretty. One of my favourite blushes I have that's from the drugstore, actually, as well. Um, yeah. Then we have... Oh, and we have another blush, actually, but I'll talk about that later with another product. Um, 
yeah and we got two highlighters i'm not really like uh, i've not tried many new highlighters this year not a whole lot has wowed me i've just been cycling through what i already have and one of them is this nabla skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder in the shade ozone can you like the the writing has rubbed off practically of this this is so nice but it's such a nice like formula i don't know if you can see that there oh stunning honestly it's a really lovely like no shimmer highlighter it's really lovely they say it's a glass skin they say glass skin finish yeah yeah <laughs> i agree it's really lovely um and then we have a drugstore i still really love this palette this is from revolution it's the soap cookies and cream duo it's got a baked and a pressed formula i use the baked one probably a little bit more um but this is more golden toned and this is more like um i don't know what you'd want it, like muted but this is the baked and this is the normal like the baked has got a lot more like glow to it like so pretty oh i still really like this i had the first i think was it frosting or something or something frosting and i had that but it it, it was too pale for me and i go for more of like a skin tone shade a highlighter is that weird oh i forgot to mention a powder before damn it this is a fenty beauty like loose powder it's a pro feel to loose powder in butter i really love this it's exploding everywhere that's for sure it's one of my favorite powders it just looks beautiful no one really talks about this it's one of my favorites i love fenty beauty in general how is this the only fenty beauty product in my whole lineup I love Fenty Beauty, honestly, I don't know. Oh, the excess is all shaking out now. Uh oh, I feel like I'm build, making a cake. Um, we've got some eye products, one of which is an eye primer. You guys know I love this. This is the uh, eye base from Beauty Bay. It's in the shade 2. Makes your makeup last long. I still have so much left in this tube. I like flattened it out. I mean, apart from like the doe foot, it's, there's a doe foot applicator in it, by the way. I love this it makes i put this on even if i'm not wearing eyeshadow because it just my eyelids just i don't know my eyelids and concealer just look a bit weird but absolutely love that uh we've got a couple of mascaras that you guys probably already know i love well mainly this one this is the lash sensation by maybelline i have this in waterproof i need a new one this is practically run out now um actually i think it has run out now to be fair it's been open for like months probably since about march we're in december so nine months um but i need to get the black one the normal black one as well as the waterproof again because i absolutely love it another favorite is the waterproof of benefit bag girl bang i think this has actually dried up on me as well I'm really sad it dried up on me on christmas day i was applying my mascara and i was like this just doesn't look the same as it normally does i have an original of this so i'm going to use that next um after i maybe finish up a couple other mascaras um but i love this and i love the waterproof version i love they brought out a waterproof version because this is my favorite mascara um yeah and the packaging is so pretty and then we've got a newer one this is the um milani i couldn't remember what the name was when it literally says on the back the milani highly rated anti-gravity mascara i love this it makes my lashes look so nice and beautiful lasts really well and i love plastic bristles that is one thing i love i love plastic bristle brushes like both the other two have plastic bristles if it's a normal bristle brush i hate it all right that's all i have to say <laughs> we've got a couple of eyebrow products and you guys know i love these two i don't i mean i think there's other pencils out there but these are just the ones i use um this is the nyx micro brow pencil this is in the shade ash brown it's the newer one I was using Espresso to match my black hair, um, but now I use Ash Brown and I love it. All right. This is one of my favourite products for my brows. Just in general. This is a NYX Stick It Stick It. I have gone through, this is on my third one now, I think. I had, um, I think I had like Espresso before. And then I had the black. I used up the black fully. And then this is the brunette. Um... I have brown hair now you know, you know this but i love this this is not only is this a really lovely color 
this is i mean apart from the brush the brush is massive it's the only complaint i have it's got fibers in it so it makes your lashes look thicker it makes your it makes your brows stay as well i don't need like a second eyebrow gel with this like normally i use a clear i will use a clear if i feel like i need my black my brows to like stay like and i need that reassurance but this does it on its own i love it it's like 11 pounds it's only i wish it was cheaper but they last ages and i love this it's incredible better than gibby brow from benefit enough said we've got a couple of eye wands these are eye wands they're like eyelinery like eye base sticks they're from vive i do love vive i need to try some more of vive's products jamie genevieve on youtube if you guys don't know i love her blushes and her bronzer duos are really nice but um yeah i i love those two i need to try out more she's got um concealers and stuff now and she's got eyeshadow, an eyeshadow palette which i do have um and i haven't used it in ages but yeah i've got two of the eye ones one's in the shade raven which is the black and one's in the shade camel i use these on the waterline that is what i do they are sort of like thicker pencils um so they're not gonna like smaller pencils like really hurt my water like my eye and my waterline and then my eyes start streaming and then it's a mess these two are really good especially the raven in my waterline and like i can smudge it out a little bit under my eye when i have like when i want to do like a black wing and like make it all smoky that is a really good way that i use that but i really love them and the camel is such a nice like uh, nudie brown shade that I use a lot so then we have eyeshadow formula um I need to try out more sh formula another form um some more shades from this formula but this is the Natasha Denona like eyeshadow palette formula this is in mini the mini Zendo palette I have a few of these palettes I think I've got the mini nude um, but I'll pop up a picture of my main favourite, which is uh, Bieber, but it's under my bed um, right now. It's amazing. It's the Bieber palette. It's like hundred like £110, I think, or something like that. It's an insane amount of money. I bought it for myself as like a present. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. But yeah, this is the mini Zendo. I think I got this for free. And I have, I popped this in my makeup bag this month. And actually I have used this quite a few times already. Um, I do really like it. This greeny shade, like this greeny like silver shade is beautiful. I haven't really used this brown shimmer shade. or But I have used this like gold to like pink shift colour. It's really pretty. But yeah, the formula of these are incredible. I love Natasha Denona palettes. I love the, well I love her eyeshadow formula. Um... I only have one palette, but I mean, technically these are palettes, but I need more of these, I think. <laughs> I love it. It's going back in my makeup bag. And then we've got um, two more, like, face products. These are both from the same brand, Hourglass. Now, I absolutely love this palette. This is my favourite one of their palettes they've done. These are the um, Ambient Lighting Edits. This is the Unlocked collection. They had three I'll put up on screen the other two, but this is the butterfly one. It's my favourite one they've ever done. It's got two finishing powders, two blushes, and two highlighters. One's a more subtle highlighter, and one's a more wham in your face highlighter. These two blushes are right up my street. <sighs> got so much powder in there. Whoa. And these two finishing powders are really lovely as well. I sort of like mix the two together on a brush and just sort of like apply. But this is my favorite palette even the like subtle like highlighter is my kind of thing but the blinding one this one is oh, something else i love it it's the same one i think as the mini palette they did a couple years ago with the four with like the more purpley blush in it that i love as well i love that palette it's really nice um i just prefer my palettes like this without bronzers because normally the kind of blushes i like are not are usually the ones that people use if they've got like a bit of a deeper skin and i'm like no thank you but actually these are really pretty one's more like a peachier toned pink and one's more of like a pink pink they've got both got a lovely like little sheen to them and i love it 
and I would take this with me traveling it's so nice I do actually have another hourglass blush um this is actually one of the shades from another palette this is sublime flush I need to bring this out more but it's so pretty it's like pink and purple together it's so nice their formula is just something else. It's so finely milled and just... Mm, all right. They're worth it. And then actually, I think I've got a few lipsticks to talk about. One being one that I don't have with me right now. I'll put a picture up on the screen. They're the NYX Shout Loud, Say It Loud, Loud It Out, something loud. I don't remember what they're called. Those ones, and I can't remember what the shade is. Oh my god, it's like the nude one, but I absolutely love it. Um, I need to get a couple more shades because that formula, incredible. I actually really love this formula as well. Oh, I knocked everything over. This is Beauty Bakery's Lip Whip. Mine's in the shade I like to chai chai. This is really lovely. I used to wear this at work um, when I used to wear makeup to work before COVID, and I actually got compliments from a couple of relatives. Um, I work in a hospital, that's why. Um, but really lovely, long lasting, really nice. Um, I've really, I've, I really love these two as well. Um, this is Vives 90s. Um, look at that, stunning. Um, I wore this in a video once. Well, I was about to wear it in a video once and it washed me out because the lighting was all rubbish. <laughs> That's so nice, I love that. And then one from like the drugstore is the Milani, I don't remember what these are called, but this is in the shade Tease. It's this packaging. This is also really, really pretty and right up my street. They're both nudes, as you can tell. I don't have, a, I don't wear reds. I wear a few browns, but that's about it. I don't really wear lip gloss either, but Fenty's lip gloss is my favourite formula of all time. Um, other than that, I don't really have favourites of this year apart from that. I mean, I still, what is this hair do, bit of hair doing? It's really annoying me been like this the whole video it's just annoying me um i love um the what's it called urban decay um oh my god what's it called all nighter that's it the urban decay all nighter setting spray that is one of my favorite setting sprays i but i mean that is still one of my favorites ever i mean apart from what i've just showed you i think that is it <laughs> i don't i i cycle through skincare a lot i cycle through makeup a lot but like these things always come in my makeup bag like um the eye ones stay in my makeup bag the eyebrow products the eye base stay the nars pot concealer stays i practically always have a made by mitchell blush i i practically always have one of these palettes although this is going to stay with me for a long time now i'm not picking this out it's my favorite um yeah i just i love all of these um <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm really sorry it's so long but i mean it's got to be long if it's a favorites video because i have so many um but yeah if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you like me hi i'm zoe i do a lot of beauty videos on this channel um i have done a few hair videos i do a few vlogs here and there but i'm mainly a beauty person <laughs> on here um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one so Bye, guys.